Hey everybody, Matty here with Altcoin Buzz. Happy Tuesday, hope you're having a great one. Okay, according to some, i.e. Max Kaiser, there are some suggestions that Bitcoin is beginning the next phase of what may be a super cycle due to certain signals that are negative for the traditional markets. We're seeing those expressed by individuals like Warren Buffett, who seems to be exiting the US dollar. We'll take a look at that courtesy of asiatimes.com. We'll be introducing you guys to a new project today, Parjar, ticker P-A-R. They're interesting, they have some, uh, I think, ambitious goals. They're certainly doing some interesting work and they have some strong numbers to report. Crypto.com is also in the news. They've just announced their stake to stake initiative. We'll break that down and let you know what it is all about. Tron has partnered with Band Protocol and both of those projects are up substantially. Tron has been on a tear recently and now on the heels of this news. Actually, both Tron and Band Protocol are pretty much in double digit 24 hour gains territories. That's nice to see. Ethverse, a project that we're very excited about, ticker ETH. HV. They're still continuing their development and their beta is coming very soon. We'll alert you to that. Again, they're at the crossroads of blockchain and Ethereum and Minecraft. And finally, guys, for today, Ren Protocol has just issued its updates for the month of August. So we'll run through those very quickly. Guys, if you like this kind of content, Bitcoin, blockchain, and cryptocurrency, then of course, be sure to like and subscribe. Okay, let's kick things off with a look at the markets today. We're on CoinGecko.com. Overall, a pretty significant jump since yesterday. We're up 4.2% all the way up to $401.9 billion, really just under $402 billion. And uh, I guess this time around, we're used to seeing so many of these altcoin gains, and that's still the case. We're seeing a lot of gains out there, but really rallied here by some very strong gains from Ethereum in particular. Ethereum up 10.2% in these last 24 hours, all the way up to $466 right now. Polkadot continues to soar up 14.7% at $6.69. Cardano also doing well, up 7.4 cents. And of course, as you go down the list, you have a lot of other projects that have risen pretty substantially in many cases. Tron, as I mentioned, up 13%. Uma up 29%. I mean, I could go on all day. There's so many projects performing well right now. Bitcoin, not doing too bad, really knocking on the door of $12,000, up 2.9% in these last 24 hours, $11,936. But check this out, dominance continues to slip. We're below 55% at 54.9% Bitcoin dominance. Okay, we haven't talked about Max Kaiser in a while. He is, of course, a Bitcoin bull. He's working for the RT network, and he's suggesting that Bitcoin is really about to soar and really about to take off, given that you have certain traditional mega investors such as is Warren Buffett that are quietly exiting the US dollar. So TV host Max Kaiser says the top crypto will reach an all-time high in the near term as the world loses confidence in the reserve currency, i.e. the USD, of course, this on asiatimes.com. So the US dollar is becoming so enfeebled by excess printing that even billionaire investor Warren Buffett is jumping ship. But this debasement of the world's reserve currency is good news for Bitcoin holders, arguably, according to analyst and TV presenter Max Kaiser. Kaiser because it will push its price to all-time highs. The Russia Today host believes safe haven assets will significantly outperform fiat currencies, a fact that Buffett, who recently invested heavily in Barrick Gold, appears to be acutely aware of. Here's what Max Kaiser tweeted, specifically this just yesterday on the 31st of August. Buffett's move into Japan, along with his gold investment, confirms he's getting out of USD bigly. USD is trending lower today, about to break key support. Hashtag Bitcoin point gold, silver. We'll all make new all-time high in the near term. In terms of that comment about a Japanese investment, Kaiser was referring to Buffett's move into Japanese assets, where he took a 5%, i.e. $6 billion stake in the country's five biggest trading houses. That's courtesy and according to Reuters, quote, the five major trading companies have many joint ventures throughout the world and are likely to have more. I hope that in the future there may be opportunities of mutual benefit. That's what Buffett said himself in a statement. In many ways, I've expressed this already, but I think we're experiencing right now a perfect storm that is steadily building up. And if you have any kind of a foothold in this space, I think over the next few years, everybody's going to do fairly well, depending on your risk appetite, of course. But it, it's a good space to be in, especially if you hold a certain amount in, uh, let's call them the lower risk coins, such as the Bitcoins, such as the Ethereums of the world. That perfect storm comes in the form of multiple variables. We do have this unprecedented 
unprecedented level of quantitative easing right now. We're just throwing money at problems. And, you know, by we, I'm talking about the United States and the United States Federal Reserve specifically. Trillions upon trillions of dollars are being printed to, you know, perhaps it's important to attack these short-term goals. I'm not saying that COVID and the outbreak aren't problems that need to be addressed, but you know we can't just necessarily throw money that we don't have at these issues. We're borrowing from ourselves and from future generations. That's one problem. You have a lot of political instability right now, unfortunately, that's rocking the United States. That's another problem. You really have this credit bubble and this quantitative easing bubble that has grown increasingly large and its appetite is just insatiable. That's really been the case since the 08 housing market crisis, and we haven't done anything really to address the underlying problems associated with that. Again, this is a very Peter Schiff-esque kind of attitude, but I happen to agree with him on that. And then you have kind of Bitcoin and cryptocurrency and blockchain, all of these spaces, they're coming into their own. We've survived that last FUD cycle going back to 2017, 18, and 19. We've now been kind of immunized to that. So despite their best efforts, I think the the media companies and uh, corporations can't really do anything to affect us at that level anymore. So in many sense, is we're prepared, we're braced for what is to come. And I think I agree with Max Kaiser. It doesn't necessarily have anything to do with Warren Buffett, but he may be one of these individuals that that catalyzes this so-called movement, this so-called Bitcoin super cycle, because so many people look to him for their answers. But, you know, he's an old guard kind of type. Even in terms of his investments, he's always been into classical manufacturing and more stable sectors. He's never been a technology guy, for example. I would say he doesn't really understand it very well. So just my thoughts on the matter, guys. Let me know yours in the comments below, but I tend to half-heartedly agree with Max Kaiser. I think he's being a little bit sensational, but that's his job at the same time, so we'll give him a break on that. Okay, let's now discuss a new project that's on our radar, Parjar, ticker is P-A-R, just getting started here, and they're talking about the big picture on Twitter. This from a few days ago, the 27th of August. Let's go through this. Parjar wallet is just the beginning. Over three big phases, Parachute is aiming to build big, democratize finance and become a DeFi product like none other. Okay, so today we've started with Parjar Wallet. It lets anyone send crypto through chat apps, swap coins, and other coins through our Uniswap integration and move from bank to crypto in a click. Our near future integrations will transform Parjar into the coolest DeFi aggregator you've ever known. In phase two, with a solid user base, we're launching a web-based experience that creates global private sending access to expanded DeFi integrations and unlocks our next chat-based platforms. This phase finishes with Parachute transitioning to a non-custodial offering. In phase three, having matured our products and transitioned to a non-custodial solution, phase three will focus on creating the DAO DAO of Parachute. The governance staking contract will launch on-chain voting to set fees across the platform, as well as act as a distribution of collected fees to governance participants. So the project again is called Parachute, ticker P-A-R. The wallet is called Parjar. They're doing some interesting work. As you can see here, they're up 5.7% on the day based on, I suppose, some of those announcements. And here is the website, ParachuteToken.com, the future of DeFi in the palm of your hand. With 40,000 users and 1,600,000 payments, we're making the world of DeFi work for everyone. We'll keep an eye on this one, guys. In the meantime, we'll link to their website in the description below. You can take a look at your leisure, but likely we'll be coming back to this. Again, it's now on our radar, so we'll update you accordingly as news and information becomes available. Speaking of news, and information crypto.com here with an announcement crypto.com exchange presents stake to take instead of paying hefty fees get paid up to 0.1 percent when your taker orders get filled refer friends and get up to two thousand dollars in cro tokens per referral with unlimited referrals again up to two thousand dollars in cro per referral with unlimited referrals start referring and start earning using this link that's provided here in the tweet and also for a chance to win a thousand dollars us in bitcoin follow these instructions all you have to do is number one retweet and like the previous tweet in this thread you can follow at crypto.com on twitter and put your crypto.com exchange referral link in your bio we'll pick 100 lucky winners on the 30th of september and details are available here finally guys here at crypto.com also tweeting calling all traders join winners take all competition in the crypto.com exchange again 100 us worth of cro for the first 1000 eligible participants 
$10,000 US worth of CRO for the highest trader in taker trading volume. And the prize pool in total is going to consist of $200,000 US. More details here are available on the crypto.com blog. There's so much happening in the crypto.com ecosystem, guys. And if you're an active trader, if you can, you know, avail yourselves of some of these referral bonuses and some of these competition incentives, you may as well get involved. Somebody's got to win the money. Somebody's got to take home the cash and the prizes. It may as well be a member of the altcoin buzz army you may as well throw your hat into the race so good luck if you choose to enter the competitions here we'll link to all of this in the description below Okay, and in today's Tron partnership news segment, we're announcing that Tron and BAN Protocol have formed a strategic partnership, scalable Oracle technology and ecosystem integrations underway. I don't mean to be facetious. This is an impressive development here. It's just that Tron has partnered with it's seemingly like everybody in the world at this point. So uh, good on them nonetheless. So here at a San Francisco, Tron, one of the largest blockchain based operating systems in the world has formed a strategic partnership and completed integrations with BAN protocol to bring secured and verified decentralized oracles to power its rapidly growing DeFi and decentralized application space. The announcement comes as Tron founder and CEO of BitTorn, Justin Sun, prepares to conduct an Ask Me Anything with Band Protocol CEO and co-founder Soravis Srinawakun on Wednesday, the 2nd of September at 9 p.m. Pacific time. Quote, we are ecstatic to enhance Tron with the most valuable Oracle product on the market, said Justin Sun, the CEO of BitTorrent and the founder of Tron. This integration marks a new era of high quality partnerships, protocols, and services migrating to Tron's blockchain. The future of blockchain technology is very bright as we kick off a series of Tron DeFi partnerships to come. Tron's ecosystem is growing faster than ever and having band protocols secure our top applications helps us speed up the adoption of DeFi and dApps worldwide. And here now is the comment from Band Protocol. Quote, Band Protocol is thrilled to be the first Oracle solution integrated into the Tron public blockchain, a platform for scalable blockchain technology and operating system for almost 1,000 decentralized applications, said Soravis Srinawakun, CEO and co-founder of Band Protocol. Working closely with the Tron team to support and bring secure, customizable, and decentralized Oracle technology will Will power the next generation of scalable applications that fuel the next wave of blockchain adoption. You guys can read more about both Tron and about Band Protocol here, but it looks like the markets are responding very positively. Tron up 12.8% in these last 24 hours and Band up 9.7% to now over $14. Kudos to both on the accomplishment. Okay, time now to discuss a little follow-up on a project that we described to you guys maybe two weeks ago or so and one that we were excited about that we continue to be excited about, ETHFIRST, ticker ETHV. They're about to release their private beta. I described this project as kind of the intersection of Ethereum, blockchain, and Minecraft. But specifically, to remind you guys and to give a little bit of a refresher, here's what they're all about. ETHFIRST is where Minecraft meets Ethereum. ETHFIRST is an open, interactive, and decentralized virtual machine built using Using the Minecraft gaming engine and Ethereum blockchain. ETHFIRST users own and trade land and assets within the world. ETHFIRST allows users to engage in immersive experiences and monetize assets and services. Here is the latest update at ETHFIRST on Twitter. Make sure you're following ETHFIRST dev update. Development is on track as we approach the launch of our private beta. City NFT non-fungible token smart contract is now complete. Some of the highlights of city contract are the following. Governor details, city details, unique city identifier and supply burn function. Guys, stay tuned for this one. Again, it's on our radar for a reason. We are excited about what the ETHFIRST team has yet to offer. So we'll be discussing more in the very near future, I am sure. But finally for today, here is the August development update for REN protocol. So everything that happened really in August 20, which was a pretty busy month as far as the REN protocol team uh, is concerned. And there's a lot to be proud of here. They've done a pretty good job. However, for the sake of brevity and because we're at the end of this video, I will let you guys read through this for all the REN protocol fans out there. This is written up by their chief technology officer. So guys, for all things relating to REN protocol updates, check this out. We'll link to it in the description below. But that about wraps it up for today, everybody. Do be sure you are following us on all the regular social media channels and keep checking back into altcoinbuzz.io for all the latest. Go ahead, like, subscribe, share, and hit the bell to receive notifications if you guys enjoyed today's video. Best of luck, of course, if you choose to invest on this Tuesday. But have a great one, everybody. Stay safe 
out there. Have a great start to the new month of September. Can't believe it's already September. And as always, we do hope to see you guys soon in our next video. Take care.